Good morning judges. My name is Akul Sharma and we are in the Minecraft competition uh, and our team name is the Mine Explorers. So we have made a museum and a computer lab in Minecraft. So in my team there is me Akul Sharma and this is Rudransh and she is so I will showcase you my project. Here, as you can see, there is a signboard. We have also made roofs, and as you can see, there are some pillars in which there are hanging signs, which are telling us the location. As you can see, the museum is there, and the computer lab is there. So first, I'll show you the computer lab. Outside, there are many balloons. As you can see. There are also some waterfalls and some green leaves. And as you enter, there is a redstone door. It is 2x2. Two two. And it also closes automatically. And now here, there are some computers. So in total, there are 28 computers, which are more than a class would have. So as you can see, but as you know that in the computer lab, a student can face a technical issue by which his project can get delayed. So that is why the technician room is right beside where the computers are. There's also one computer here. And some paintings and some other things. Uh, so the technician can come anytime and he can help out with this. So except for the technician's room here, I also have a restroom because any student can require it during class. There are two uh, taps and two soaps. So there are also a urinal here and here there's also a toilet seat. So now we also have made a top floor and for that we don't have any stairs. There's an easy to use automatic redstone elevator. So when any students come here, they can easily go up by just pressing one button and there are no buttons so that they can get confused as you can see so now as you can see we have arrived at the top but as you can see it is very dark because in other computer labs you might have seen that there are many separate buttons for separate lights but here there is only one lever which turns on all of the lights as you can see so when i press this all of the lights are turned on and now here there is a green screen which can be used to film projects or any school videos or a notice and this provides very high quality as there is no problem in the background now except for the green screen there are also some places for storage where the assignments of the students can be stored some gradings and some important information about the log of the computers can also be stored now except for that we also have a staff room here in which all the teachers can work and upload the assignments in the computer lab for the students. There's a painting here. There are two computers for the teachers to work and also a sea lantern for light. Now here as you can see there's also a medical room because any student can require medical attention at any time and do not delay that. There's a small lab in the computer only and as you can see this has two beds there is one cabinet for the storage of medicines and also a place for the nurse to sit so yes this was it for the computer lab and yes we can also turn off the lights anytime we want and now this elevator also works downwards Now I will exit the door and now I will show you the museum. So as you can see the exterior of the museum is very nice and there are also sea lanterns on the top. Now here uh, we have made a 3x3 three three automatic door. This works using command blocks and there is also a book which is showing the sign of a museum. So as you can see whenever the player goes it automatically turns off and as I come here it turns off. So it is very automatic and doesn't require a lot of time. So now before the museum, 
there's also a map of the museum which shows that where all the things of the museum are located because many students have problem in this as they they cannot find their what to do where and they miss something after buying the ticket so to prevent that from happening we have made a map museum map for the people that visit it so on the ground floor there are some going items a cafe the rarest mob the rarest block some rare items and the protector of the villages are in gold and on the floor one we have a historical item display an ancient statue and some ancient paintings so first let's look the cafe so as you can see there is a nice little cafe here so in the cafe there are some items kept here for showcase and if we go inside where the chef will come there is also some food that is already cooking some jack o lanterns and some smokers and punches for the cooking of food so now let me show you what things have been kept in the museum here the protected of the villages are the iron golem is kept in this cage in this cage some glowing items in minecraft are kept like all the frog lights some torches like the soul torch the normal torch and the redstone torch the zoom light the redstone block and the glowstone and here as you can see blocks of frog gold are kept because they also emit a 0.1 light as it is not visible but when we walk on them the supplies and now here are some rare things in minecraft these are not the rarest items but these are the rarest that we can obtain in survival with no cheats or switching of the versions so as you can see the elytra the conduit enchanted golden apples the end crystal the nether star and the dragon egg also the netherite ingot and now let's have a look at the rarest block now this may seem common to you but it is very rare in minecraft as this is not even obtainable in 1.20 it was only obtainable in 1.16 because if we build a platform very very away from the main and island and keep any grass blocks there with a snow layer on top there is a one in a million chance that an enderman would pick it and it would drop that snowy grass block and now here as you can see there is a rare mob this is a baby zombie villager with an enchanted diamond and a iron sword riding on a baby chicken so this has a very rare chance of spawn and it is not practical now let's go upstairs and to go there i have installed a bubble elevator so as you can see up is written here so once i go inside that it will take me up and here as you can see there are the gupta dynasty coins so many historical things are there and not only can we see their display but we can also read about them so oh, this is about the gupta dynasty coins This is about the Chola Dynasty coins. This is the broken pot shard from the Rashtrakutas. These are the edicts of the Ashoka, which was a famous manuscript. And these are the Harappan pots. These are the hematite tubes fossil. So this is the oldest stone tool. Here there is the floor of the Ashoka the Great Emperor. There are some beads from Mohenjo Daro. Here there are some Harappan civilization stamps. This 
So these were the historical icons, but there is also a statue here as you can see. So uh, you can see the statue from all the sides. And also here we have written about the statue. So it is an old ancient statue. It was found in a cave of the Otto Empire and we recovered it here. So now let's see the painting gallery. In this all the famous paintings of Minecraft are kept. So this is the original skull on fire and many more paintings I'll show you. So yes, these were all the paintings. And now I'll go back. So the bubble that we made also works both the sides. You can also go down using it. So that was it for the museum and there's also a large window here. So I hope you liked it. It is thanks.